So we're going to upgrade the RAM in this 13-inch MacBook Pro unibody. This is a mid-2012 model, and we're going to upgrade it from 8 gigabytes to 16 gigabytes. So the first thing you'll do is turn off your computer, flip over, flip it over. I'm going to set it on a soft surface so that it, it doesn't get scratched. And you'll want the black part up at the top, which is the LCD hinge facing away from you. So the tools you'll need is Phillips head number 00, a spudger, and your upgrade RAM chips. There's three different size of screws that hold this back panel to the, uh, the main part of your computer. So you'll want to make sure that as you remove them, you keep up with where they go so that you can place them in the exact holes they came out. After all 10 screws are removed and placed in that small bin, I'm going to remove this back panel. And this shows us all of the internal components of your MacBook Pro. So the next step is to remove this battery connector. You don't want current traveling through your computer while you're working on it. So you can try to pry it and walk it out by prying up on the side. I found that far too difficult, so I decided to pry up on the, on the uh, corners. Now you'll want to be careful because the corners are definitely breakable, so you'll want to walk it out slowly. With the battery connector disconnected, I'm now ready to remove the RAM from my computer. So I'm going to use both hands and I'm going to pull these little levers away from the RAM chip. You'll hear a click and it'll lift up 15 to 20 degrees. You pull that out and now it's time to remove the bottom one. It's a little bit more difficult. You'll have to actually pull the lever twice. You'll hear two clicks and you pull it straight out again. Now setting it, the RAM chips back in is fairly straightforward. You'll want to line up that small ridge with the computer and you'll want to push it in all the way so the shiny part of the connector is not exposed. As you can see here, I'm attempting to put the RAM in with the shiny part showing, or the connector. As long as that connector is showing, you'll never be able to seat it correctly in your computer. So you'll want to put it in at the angle you pulled out the other chip. I'm going to do that now. And you'll push it down. You'll hear one click. So the bottom one, you'll hear two clicks as you push it down to seat it all the way. The top one, you'll only hear one click. With it seated all the way, we're now ready to reconnect the battery connector. So just push it straight in. Make sure that it's pushed in all the way. And you'll want to sit the back panel back onto your MacBook Pro. As you can see, the cutout goes to the top or facing away from us, which is where our LCD hinge is lined. And I'm going to place the screws back in in the reverse order that I took them out. So I had a little bit of trouble inserting this one screw, and the cause was Loctite applied by Apple. It's the blue part of the screw. Now that all the screws have been inserted into the computer, you'll want to run your finger over each one to make sure that it's flush. Now that your computer's put back together, you'll want to boot it up and make sure everything's working correctly. Click the Apple logo in the top left corner, click About This Mac, and click Memory the displayed numbers of RAM should be the exact same as the RAM you installed. 